Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to do a quick review for Red Hood and the Outlaws number 19. It's going to be a bit weird to review just because there are parts of this issue that I love and there's other parts of it that I really don't care for that much. Uh, new creative team taking over after issue 18 was an amazing send-off for the first major run from that creative team. And it's uh, I'm somewhat torn because I really felt like, even though it's gotten some negative reviews from the very beginning, I like the uh, hold that that creative team had on the characters. New creative team seems to have a good hold on who these characters are from the get-go. Uh, this issue mostly deals with Rory and Corey looking for Jason Todd. After all the events that happened, he has disappeared, and they're looking for him. There's some great developments in there with Roy, especially, with him trying to face his past, which has pretty much been what the entire Red Hood and the Outlaws series has been about, about them facing their past, about them overcoming the adversity that they have to face. That's why I'm kind of disappointed by the ending. Uh, I don't really want to spoil it, but the ending changes a lot for the Red Hood character that may or may not be good. Uh, it could very easily be reversed in the uh, world of Red Hood and the Outlaws, but it seems like it's going to be a major plot device for at least this creator's team's uh, creator story. Uh, so for those who... This reads comes out a few days after uh, this issue's come out, so I will go ahead and spoil it, because they basically take away uh, Jason Todd's memories and what makes Jason Todd who he is. That does lead to some interesting storylines, With this is now an untainted character. This is now a character that is new to the DC Universe. We haven't seen AJ Todd this age without his gory past. But he's also a character completely made up by his past, and he's that character because of that reason. So I know that they probably in the end will give him back his memories and make him who he is. But for right now, I'm kind of worried to see who this character will be for the simple fact that the re what really separates this Jason Todd from the other Robins is because he is the black sheep of that family. He's a black sheep of a family of black sheep. So when you take that away, I'm curious to see if they can keep him... To be an interesting character. That's my biggest concern right now. Overall, I did like it. I'm interested to see where it goes. And uh, there's been some negative views that are always offered in the Outlaws. I think for people that like these characters and get the kind of stories going on, they'll like it, but doesn't do anything to change that. So, Resident Evil Outlaws issue 19, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, and I'll see you guys in another review.